the Lord's Supper this time. And we're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, our ushers are not going to be distributing, our deacons are not going to be distributing the elements to you. You already have those elements, and they're in a pre packaged form. Not exactly authentic, <laughs> but the meaning is still the same, and I want you to remember that. So, uh, let's come to the Lord's table in our hearts. Uh, if you're at home, please grab a piece of cracker and something to drink and join us if you would. On the night when the Lord was betrayed, he took bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus was allowing himself to be taken for our sin, to have the burden and punishment of recrimination of our wrongdoing upon him. And he took that to the cross. And he vanquished that through rising again, that punishment, that onus, the terrible result of sin and he offers to us the gift of eternal life because of that so he allowed himself to suffer he allowed his bones to be broken for himself to be beat crown of thorns to be placed on his head nailed to a cross and spear and stuff that's what he means by this is my body which is broken and so we take this symbol of that broken body. We take it and in great respect and humility, let us offer a prayer for this symbol of the broken body of Christ our Lord. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for your presence with us today. We thank you that because of the sacrifice of Christ, we know that he is the Lord of lords, the King of kings. He is the one to whom nature and elements and time and history all bend. And so we ask that in these moments of uncertainty in our lives, we may trust in him, the one who gave his all for us. So we ask that you would bless this partaking of this symbol of his broken body. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you take and eat? Father, we ask that you would take this cup, Lord, and help us to realize the power that is in this cup, the power of the one who shed his blood for each of us. So be with us this day as we face life. Help us to face it with faith in you. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Take the cup and drink. Jesus said, as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we will remember him until he comes again. 
Will you stand for our benediction, please? Gracious Heavenly Father, we're not joining hands, not physically, but we're joining hearts. We're here together at the beginning of a, of a new journey. And our eyes fall not on the mountains, but on the one above the mountains. To that end, help us not to falter. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace.